Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at unvalidated redirects and forwards. We'll explain what unvalidated redirects and forwards are, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what are unvalidated redirects and forwards vulnerabilities? This vulnerability allows trusted websites to be tricked into redirecting users to a malicious website or tricked into using forward values to access unauthorised pages. What causes unvalidated redirects and forwards? The problem is caused by using unvalidated user input to construct application URL destinations. To understand unvalidated redirects and forwards vulnerabilities, let's look at an example. In this case, an attacker sends an email to a victim. It contains a link to a vulnerable page with a redirect to a malicious site. The user, trusting the root domain of the URL, clicks on the link. The website does not validate the partner URL parameter and redirects the user to a phishing site. The user is tricked into submitting the credentials of the trusted site, so his account and personal information get stolen. Unvalidated redirects and forwards can have significant impacts. An attacker could use this vulnerability to redirect victims to malware or phishing sites. Users disclosing credentials or sensitive information to phishing sites could lead to account theft, privacy violation, loss of customer trust, reputational damage and financial loss. Unvalidated forwarding locations could be used to access unauthorised pages, leading to denial of service and financial damage. To prevent this vulnerability, developers should avoid redirects and forwards unless absolutely necessary. Additionally, don't use user parameters as the destination of a redirection or forward. If parameters must be used, validate the supplied value and ensure it is authorised for the user. Finally, use mapping values rather than the actual URLs. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Unvalidated Redirects and Forwards.